controversy, considered a moral threat by some, and the theme for a new social movement by others, mostly children coming of age in the 50s. Rock music has since gone through as many changes as the American experience from which it grew. And the record business at the center of it all is now enormous. And it's a business basically controlled by men. But now a woman from the Lower East Side is trying to make it as the first female rock producer. For more on her story, here's Steve Bauman. Galashoff's Dairy Restaurant on Rivington Street. Best soup in town, you promised, by someone who should know. Her name was Goldie Zelkowitz when she and her parents came here from Poland 25 years ago. Rock fans have come to know her as Genya Ravan. This is one of the few places unchanged in the neighborhood since she grew up here, then jumped on a motorcycle headed for California when she was 16. The music would come years later, after a succession of bad jobs and a worse marriage. But Genya Ravan says she knew from the beginning that to search for herself, she first had to leave Rivington Street. I had to leave because I, I knew that there was more than 14 blocks in my life. I mean, my school was across the street, my father's candy store was across the street from my school, and my house was across the street from the school and the candy store, and, and my corner that I hung out on was two blocks away, and the Pitt Street Park was a block away, and there was, there was like 14 blocks that I knew from, from eight until, uh, from seven years old till I was 17, and I said, uh, hey, duh, I think there's something else out there, you know? In 65, after launching a singing career on a dare in a Brooklyn bar, she started the first all-girl rock band called Goldie and the Gingerbreads. And they did pretty well for a while, then found themselves booked into tough guy bars by people better known to the FBI than Billboard magazine. For example, I had a manager at the time, which I cannot say his name, because it's been in the papers a couple of times, who, he's a manager that's managing us, right? And I, I call him on the phone, because I don't have a microphone, and I go, hello, so-and-so, uh, and he goes, don't call me so-and-so. Uh, hang up, walk around the blocks, don't talk my name. I mean, I couldn't even call this guy, you know. Those are the kind of people I was involved in. A legitimate manager and wide recognition came with a group called Ten Wheel Drive in 1970. That lasted a couple of years, then Genya began producing other groups in England. Now she's back in New York, the only known female producer in the business, working with her own group called Taxi, and another so-called punk rock group called the Dead Boys. She not only sings and works the audio board to create the right sound mix, but handles the business negotiations with record companies and clubs. Tough duty for anyone, let alone a woman on her own since dropping out of high school. Did everybody play the right chords there, or mm -hmm. did we yeah. not? Is it in tune? I think yeah. That's a little loud, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, all right, let me hear the rest of it. Let me hear the rest of it. Let's Roll just see what it is. Sometimes I get disillusioned and I feel that I have to work double hard to prove a point. But at the same time, I think because I've done what I've done in the past 10 years, there is a certain amount of respect that, hey, this chick's got to know what she's doing. I feel sorry for any woman that's walking in and, and turns around and says, I want to produce, because she doesn't have the credentials yet. If you look in the top 10, top 20 in the charts, there are very many male unknown producers that will get a shot. One of Genya Ravan's groups has an album soon coming out. Another is opening at a new downtown club. Maybe she'll make it back near the top, and maybe she won't. But the lady's standing her own in one of the toughest businesses around, and she's a long way from Rivington Street. This is Steve Bauman, Channel 5 News.